Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a um, author spotlight on Toni Morrison and all the novels that I have by her and offer some recommendations on where to start if you've never read Toni Morrison. I would say I wanna make this video because I feel like a lot of people have not read Toni Morrison because when they think of Toni Morrison, they just think of Beloved, which I do have a copy of, but it's in my Pulitzer Prize video. So if you're interested in seeing what it looks like, go ahead to that video and check it out. Um, but I just feel like not enough people have read Toni Morrison, not enough people are talking about her genius. So yeah, enjoy the video and let's get talking about Toni Morrison. So starting with the first two novels, um, the first one I'm going to talk about is God Help the Child. And this is probably somewhere that I would recommend starting. This is about a woman who kind of describes herself as someone who has blue black skin. Um, and she has a really complicated relationship with her mom and her aunt and her partner and it's a very short book um, I read it in like a day there's not a lot of characters in it which is kind of nice and it's just like a big payoff in the end there's like a big dramatic moment that happens at the end so if you've never read any Toni Morrison this is somewhere that I would start um the other one that was published around the same time is Home this is about someone in the 1950s who's a war veteran who comes back to America and just kind of has like a really rough time navigating life um, not in the war. I have not read this one. I started to read it but I just never got into it but I will definitely get to it eventually. Um, I just haven't gotten into this one. So this one I'm um, not sure about this one. I highly recommend starting with. This one Paradise is the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature I believe. That also might be a lie. I don't know which one she won the Nobel Prize for. But as you can see, I'm about 21 pages in. And this one is amazing. This one is about like a little commune, I would say. And um, it starts with, quote, they shoot the white girl first. With the rest, they can take their time. And so it's like a really kind of, I would say it's a feminist novel. It is full of really interesting characters. The beginning is like so interesting. Um, I would say give this one a try. I probably wouldn't start here because this is the end of a trilogy, I believe. Um, and the trilogy includes Jazz, Paradise, and Tar Baby, I think. I think that's the three that it includes. So I would probably not start with Paradise if you're not really familiar with Toni Morrison's work. But this one is amazing. And I want to get back to this. I want to I want to start this one over. I already have it tabbed, but I just wasn't in the right place for it. So I want to start this one over, but I really, really love that one. Um, next, let's do A Mercy. This one is, um, this one's interesting. So this one is set in the 1680s and it's kind of about the slave trade. It follows a white guy named Jacob Vark and he, Jacob Vark and he's an Anglo-Dutch trader. And so, yeah, the thing that I didn't love about this one is there's like some, I believe there's some written in like a child narration and that's just really not my vibe. So I didn't really connect with this one quite as hard, but if the back is something that's interesting to you, the writing is pretty simple. So I wouldn't say that this is a bad place to start with Toni Morrison. Um, next, I will talk about my two different copies of Tar Baby. I have the kind of traditional Tar Baby copy that you can buy like everywhere, including like Barnes & Noble. And then I also bought this, which is, I believe, a first paperback printing. Um, and I'm like obsessed with it. So yeah, this is a first printing 1983. I got this at a little bookstore. It had like a plastic wrap on it. And this one is a summer read for sure. Um, really, really loved this one. Um, I want to read this one again, actually, because I didn't feel like I quite like got all of it. But I would say this is not a horrible place to start with Tony. It's about like a couple that lives on a island together and they have like a family member come. I believe it's their niece and she brings her white boyfriend um and it's just like starts this whole dramatic experience but it's like hot to read like it just it's warm it's very summery love tar baby um okay next we'll talk about love this one still has the sticker on it and i'm scared to take it off because i don't want to rip it i would not start here if, ever, if you've never read any tony morrison this is my first tony morrison um and it is about a man who owns this like club for african-american people in the south um on like a beach town and it follows bill cosey's life and the different women that interacted with him during his life 
this was a tough one to read. I did not understand a lot of this. Um, and it's just like, there's a lot of unreliable narrators and some like very confusing things happening. The writing is obviously amazing because like it's Toni Morrison, but I would not recommend starting with Love if you've never read any Toni Morrison. I would get there like later. Um, I have another Tar Baby right here. It's the hardback, so don't need to show you that again. Next is Sola. This one's really good. This is a side of, this is about two black women who, well, two black girls who live in Ohio and they're like really good friends but then there's like some kind of drama because some people well one of them i believe decides to move away to like a city and one of them stays and then they come back and there's like this dramatic experience with a man and the ending of this one is very hot like not like hot and like a Ooh, hot but like it's just hot to read like it feels on fire and I think that's the way that I would describe Toni Morrison as you can see whoever had this before me like um, underlined a bunch of stuff but yeah this one was amazing I believe I read this one in one day as well so highly recommend um only a few more left she's written like so many books the next is Jazz by Toni Morrison you can see I have a bunch of stuff tabbed here this one I believe it's like yeah it's like a love triangle set in New York I believe. Yeah. Love, love Triangle set in New York. Um, it's very musical, um, obviously, because it's called jazz. And this one, I think, has one of the strongest openings. I, again, probably wouldn't start here, but um, it's just like a, like, it's just really, really good. So if you're looking for something that's immersive, New York, it's not that far-fetched. It doesn't have, like, magical realism piece like a lot of other Toni Morrison does. I would definitely be interested in reading jazz. Um, the next, I have three of copies of the same book because I have no self-control, um, and that is Song of Solomon. So I have this version, which is like, I think this was an arc, I want to say. I think this was an arc, um, for Toni Morrison, and then it has someone had, like, clipped a picture. Ooh someone had clipped a picture of Toni Morrison and left it in there, which like, amazing. So this one's super cool. Um, and I've never read this one. I talked about this in another video, but I've never read any of the Song of Solomon. So I, well, I read the beginning and I didn't really like it, but I want to get to it at some point because some people told me like, it's okay, you will get through it. It's really worth it. I have another one with this cover, which is the Song of Solomon. And then I have the paper, mass market paperback. All I know about this one is I think it's set around a man and there's some magical realism and I think somebody's like flying through the air. Not 100% sure that's really all I know about it. I would definitely be interested in reading this one next maybe. And then the last of the fiction that I have by her is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. This I believe was her first novel and it's about a young girl who just like really hates herself and so she prays that she could have like blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, and it's really just about her as a young girl, like, making it work, going through life. Um, it's set in, like, one thing that Toni Morrison does sometimes is it's set in, like, spring, summer, winter, fall, or fall, winter. Like, she uses that as, like, a way to break it up. So, I really like that. And this one is just... Woo, this one's powerful. So, this would probably be a good another one place to start. So... That's my Toni Morrison collection, people. Um, I'm going to quickly recap the ones that I would recommend starting with, and I'll put the timestamp down below for that. So quickly, just in summary, these are the three that I would start with if I've never read any Toni Morrison or I'm recommending. I generally recommend first, God Help the Child, second, Sola, and third, The Bluest Eye. Um, hope you enjoyed. If anyone's interested in doing me doing a video about Gail Jones, let me know. I don't know if a lot of people on YouTube know about Gail Jones, but she's really amazing too. So I would be interested in maybe doing a video. So if people like this kind of like author spotlight where I talk through the different books that I have by a certain author and what I've read, what I have, and what I enjoyed, let me know. If anyone has any questions about where to start of the three that I recommended or just of any of them, please, please, please let me know. I feel like more people need to read Toni Morrison. There's my thumbnail. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy Toni Morrison. Read some this summer. It will spice up your life, people. Highly recommend it.